I'll be using these graphics, Mr. Speaker, the graphics to my right. Mr. Speaker, sometime between now and December 31st, we will be discussing tax cuts, specifically whether to extend the President Obama tax cuts for the middle class or whether to extend the George W. Bush tax cuts for the rich. And I think it's important for people to understand exactly who this money will be received by. In the case of the Obama tax cuts, like the child tax credit, it will be received by needy parents who need the money in order to pay the mortgage, pay the rent, pay their car payments, their credit card payments. And in the case of the Bush tax cuts for the rich, it will be received by the rich. In fact, for the top 1% of income in this country, the high and mighty, the people who make an average of $1.4 million every single year, according to this chart that I'm about to show, you will see the following. Mr. Speaker, the Republican plan for tax cuts is to give each millionaire, each person who makes $1.4 million a year on the average, the top 1% of income in this country, the high and mighty, $83,347 a year in tax cuts. $83,347 a year, according to econometric modeling by Citizens for Tax Justice. Let's give some thought as to what the high and mighty might actually do with that money. Well, here's one possibility. They can buy an $83,000 Mercedes-Benz E-Class car. Not just once, but every single year for the next decade. And each year when they get tired of their brand new Mercedes-Benz E-Class car, they can just give it to somebody because they can afford another one. They could give it to a spouse, a sister, a son, a daughter, anybody. Every single year for the next 10 years, the Republican tax plan is to give millionaires enough money for a Mercedes-Benz. Here's something else they can do with it. They can buy this gorgeous Hermes bag, a Birkin, for $64,800. Not once but every single year for the next 10 years, to which they will say to the Republican Party, thank you very much. Here's something else they can do with their money. They can buy this bottle of Chateau Ecam wine, bottled in 1787, for only $56,588, that will leave their loose change in their pocket of $25,000. They can buy a bottle of wine from 1787 every year for the next decade. Thank you, Republican Party. Here's something else they can do. They can buy 20,000 jars of their favorite mustard, Grey Poupon. 20,000 jars, that's certainly enough for them their family, their friends, even a few poor people. Thank you, Republican Party. Here's something else they can do with the $80,000 that the Republican Party wants to put in their pocket every year for the next 10 years. They can buy 800 cigars. Think about that. That's one for the morning and one for the evening. 800 luxury cigars. And then they can light each one of those cigars with a $100 bill. Thank you, Republican Party. You're letting the rich in this country enjoy two cigars each day for the next 10 years and light each one with a $100 bill. Now, I have a different idea. I think it's a better idea. These tax cuts for the rich by the Republican Party are going to cost the U.S. taxpayers $100 billion a year. Do the math. We have 14 million people in this country unemployed. We have 13% unemployment in my district. Here's an idea. Let's take that $100 billion and give 3 million Americans a job. Let's give 3 million Americans a working wage, an honest day's pay for an honest day's work. And that will revive our economy. 
it will immediately reduce unemployment by two points, and they will take that money and they will spend it on their rent, they'll spend it on restaurants in their neighborhood, they'll spend it on getting their hair cut, they'll spend it on their credit card payments, they'll spend it on the things they need to do to stay alive. Instead of the alternative, the Republican favorite alternative, which is to have them lose their job, keep unemployed, and move into their cars. That's a better idea. I favor jobs, not tax cuts for the rich. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Burton of Indiana. The gentleman is recognized for five minutes. I thank the uh, Speaker for yielding time to me.